lesson 13 of objective 2.1 which is about the business environment in which retail businesses operate today we're going to be looking at environmental factors which impact on retailers and when you see Eduardo click for help so here are the learning steps for lesson 13 on the environment and how retailers are environmentally friendly first of all we need to know what the term means and then we're going to build that in terms of knowing why retailers need to act responsibly and then we're going to look into the actions that they take in order to trade responsibility responsibly sorry towards the environment and the consequences the impacts of their action the key vocabulary we need to look at today will be finite resources now that's the first task we're going to do so can't really go into that because that's what your task is to look at the definition sustainability now that's something that you hear quite a lot of but we want to make sure that you know sustainability it's sustaining the environment making sure that that continues a negative impact because that's what um, anyone who is trading irresponsibly will have a negative impact on the environment and there is such a thing as green careers which i've got some down at the bottom which i'll discuss in a minute and making sure that we know what environmentally friendly is so you'll know when you've completed the lesson successfully because you can state environmental issues which retailers need to be aware of. You can describe the actions retailers take to act responsibly and you can explain why retailers trade within these environmentally friendly actions and the impact they have on their business. A sample of green careers at the bottom are sustainable manager, environmental health and safety specialist and a corporate social responsibility officer. The last one is where companies, um, we have a one of our partners called Denzo, and we work directly with the corporate social responsibility officer who explains that what she does is support the community and she does all the ethical work in order to look at the making sure that they don't have a negative impact on the environment. So she supports the people and the environment within her job as well. Here are your tasks for lesson 13 on the environment. You've got the finite resources definition, Greta's call to action, so that's your summary, the negative impact question number three, environmentally responsible actions, two case studies, wonky food and shop Ellis, that's a Welsh word for shop. Number seven, who does what table and number eight is finding your own responsible retailer. Environmental factors. The production and distribution and selling of goods and services have negative effects on the natural environment. These environmental costs include noise pollution, air pollution, water pollution, light pollution, litter, congestion, waste, climate change and the use of finite resources. The natural resources available to us are limited. We only have them available to us on our planet and once these have run out it will not be possible to create more. So what are these finite resources? Go off on the internet, go and have a look and write your definition in the hexagon below. Greta Thunberg, I'm sure you're aware of her, but with this time we're going to look into exactly what she says. So let's look at some of the points, some of the summaries before we listen to her. As human beings, we are never satisfied with what we have. As soon as we have a new pair of shoes, we think about the next pair we are going to purchase. Our wants are described as being unlimited. We constantly demand new clothes, high-tech cars, the latest gadgets, etc. We consume more and more products while being unconcerned by the environmental impact of our lifestyle. Protecting the environment is now a mainstream business issue. In the past, businesses ignored their impact on their environment. The awareness of climate change has risen rapidly and is a major concern. However, this is only one of the many environmental issues of which businesses have to consider. Other issues include water and noise pollution, congestion, destruction of the environment and waste disposal. So let's hear Greta's messages. You'll find the videos for Greta's messages in the additional Lesson 13 videos. Please make sure you look on the channel and you can see the two Lesson 13 links to watch Greta's messages. Your job is to watch them and then come back and write. Look how short that summary is there. That's the summary that you need to write about the messages she's trying to get across. Environmental responsibility. 
The negative environmental impact of business activity used to be largely ignored. Today, things are very different. The government and pressure groups, whether local or global, have a strong influence on business activity. And, to some extent, they are able to limit the environmental impact of business activity. As well as these external influences, many businesses now undertake the control of their environmental impact without the need for external pressure. Some produce and publish their own environmental aims and objectives to measure their impact on the environment and to set out plans for improvement. Your task number three, negative impact question. Consider the negative impact the following retail businesses can have on the environment. An online clothes retailer, a supermarket, an electrical household goods retailer and a car dealership. In your answer, which needs to be written in the box on the right, you should consider whether products were sourced, manufactured and how products are distributed, the packaging used and how the packaging is disposed of. The way to approach the question then. For each of your or retailers, you need to consider all four highlighted points. That is where the products are sourced, where they're from, where they're manufactured, how they're manufactured, how they are distributed and the packaging and what the retailer does about the packaging. So there's four elements that you need to consider. The red, the brown, the light brown and the green. So you need to think of an online retailer, anyone that you want, ASOS, Amazon, whichever one you want. And then you find out those four facts and you can list the facts in the table. And it's fine to list them because you're, when, when you list them and you're talking about what they do, we can then discuss in class um, what they what they are doing about it and what you think they should consider about it. So this is a fact finding exercise. Sustainability. All businesses are under increasing pressure from consumers and governments to act in a responsible manner and to ensure that our environment and resources are available for future generations to enjoy. This is often referred to as sustainability. A business that acts in a sustainable way will, st will strive to have a minimal negative impact on the global or local environment, community, society or economy. A business that aims to be sustainable will attempt to minimise its overall impact on the environment. There are many ways that businesses can act in this sustainable manner. Let's go through these actions. So A to D. Retailers can reduce the amount of packaging on products. They can increase recyclability of packaging and the introduction of biodegradable packaging. They can promote recycling schemes. They can encourage the re reuse of carrier bags. Can you think of anyone who does any of those four? E to H. Retailers can introduce energy saving schemes. They can use alternative sources of energy. They can use more energy efficient equipment. They can reduce water consumption. So E to H is actually about them as a business, not about what they do in terms of interacting with customers. I to L. They can reduce their carbon footprint. They can encourage smarter use of transport. They can eliminate unnecessary business activities. And the final one, they can switch to more sustainable suppliers. So again, this list is about them operating as a business. The last one, quite poignant, where they actually look at making sure their suppliers are also sustainable. And this is about them as well, not so much about how they interact with the consumer. So question four, your task, environmentally responsible actions. Choose any two of the retailers below and find out two things that they do to act environmentally responsibly. Online clothes retailer, a supermarket, electrical household goods retailer or a car dealership. So you choose two of those. So you put the, the two that you choose in the middle column on the table on the right. And then you write down there two things that they do in the retailer action. Now you can use the list above, that would be highly recommended, but obviously if they come up with something else, you can include that as well. But make sure it, it is about being environmentally friendly. Task 5. Here's the first of your case study. This is about the company called Wonky Food. Yes, that's a true company. You can see the links below. So let's look at the article on the left. The Wonky Food Company, and here's their slogan, packed with tasty imperfection. 
The Wonky Food Company was started by a team of passionate foodies and farmers committed to tackling food waste by creating great tasting products that make use of imperfect and surplus fruit and veg. Their mission. We're on a mission at the Wonky Food Company to do our bit to help reduce food waste. We are working with farmers, suppliers and retailers to collect their imperfect and surplus fruit and veg and turn it into fabulous tasting products. Food waste facts. Globally, one third of all food products is wasted. That's about 1.3 billion tonnes every year. In the UK alone, we let 40% of everything we grow rot, simply because it isn't pretty enough for the shop shelf. Wonky products can be bought by shoppers in selected stores that buy from the Wonky Food Company or directly through its website. It has no physical stores of their own. So your task, question one, explain how the Wonky Food Company is a good example of a business acting in a sustainable way. So what is it that they're doing? What is it? Who are they talking to to make sure that there is another way of selling what could possibly have previously been wasted? Question two, identify the distribution channels that the Wonky Food Company use. Now this is a retail outlet, so you've, there's two that you've got to find and it's in the second column. Third question, visit the Wonky Food Company's website news at wonkyfoodco.com forward slash news to discover its journey and write a summary of its journey in the box on the right. Task six, case study, shop Ellis. That's the Welsh word for shop and it's pronounced exactly like it is in English. This is about plastic waste. Waste. A shop launches refillable milk scheme in the Llangevny in Anglesey, which is North Wales. Let's look at the article. A shop on Anglesey has taken steps to tackle the problem of plastic waste by installing a milk machine for customers to fill bottles themselves. Paul Ellis, who runs Shop Ellis Spa in Slangevny with his partner Leonie Golton, said the idea has proved incredibly popular. Shoppers can buy glass bottles or bring their own containers and fill up from the 14 litre, 24 pint tank in store. Anglesey Council said it was a great example of a way to reduce waste. Mr Ellis said that just a week after launching, the container of locally sourced semi-skimmed milk is being emptied between two and three times per day. Like all great ideas, it was my missus's, he said. It's been really, really busy. We've had people getting in touch from Canada, Ireland and Sweden to find out more. It's not a revolutionary idea, but it's a start. Customers can also take items such as crisp packets, sweet wrappers and toothbrushes to the shop to get them recycled. It makes a big difference, I think, Mr Ellis said, of his environmental activities. We don't need everybody to make a massive change. It just needs a lot of people to make a small change. Kirsty Luff of environmental charity Friends of the Earth Cymru, that's Welsh word for Wales, said it's a wonderful to see this milk refill scheme in Anglesey, proving so popular with shoppers. The scourge of single use plastics is all around us. So having more refill stations in shops of all sorts is exactly the direction we need to be heading. Now supermarkets must follow the lead of the growing number of zero waste and independent shops by providing opportunities for shoppers to refill their containers during their grocery shop. The milk machine scheme is a great example of what can be done to tackle disposable plastic and help make a difference. Your three questions then. Number one, explain how using refillable bottles helps the environment. So there's a picture of Shop Ellis's refill scheme. That's the right hand picture. You've got the empty bottles and you've got the refill station. So explain how that helps. Question two, identify other ways the shop is acting in a sustainable way. In the article, it actually tells you the other things that they do to help the environment. And number three, using the internet, find the examples of how other retailers are acting in a sustainable way. Select one retailer and produce a poster or a small graphic to show its environmental policy and sustainable actions. Number seven, who does what? Many retail businesses now source their products from local suppliers. This money is then put back into the local economy and reduces emissions, carbon footprint, and congestion that results from the long distance transportation of goods. 
Waste is also a major issue for retail businesses. Waste impacts on many different areas of the environment, from the excessive use of materials and resources, e.g. unnecessary packaging, the production of pollutants as a byproduct of the manufacture of goods and the safe disposal of waste generated. Pressure on landfill sites is at an all-time high and the identification of suitable alternative means of disposal presents some difficult problems for businesses. Businesses are increasingly recognising opportunities to reuse and recycle. This can even help to reduce costs and, and even improve pro profitability. Your task, complete the table below by giving examples of how real retailers act in a sustainable manner. You need to find a retailer who reduces the amount of packaging on products, that's number one. State the name of the retailer and describe what they do. Number two, increases recyclability of packaging and the introduction of biodegradable packaging. Find the retailer, state how they do it. Number three, a retailer that promotes recycling schemes. Do the same, name the retailer, describe what they do. Number four, encourages the reuse of carrier bags. Now that might be things like offering an incentive or some royalty rewards. State who they are, describe what they do. Number five, a retailer who uses alternative sources of energy. Now here you might need to describe their and read their policies to find out if that's what they're about. Name the retailer and describe how they do it. Number six, a, a retailer who reduces their carbon footprint. Again, this is about their policy, so that's what you need to investigate. Name the retailer and describe what they do. And number seven, a retailer that encourages smarter use of transport. So that's an area where they're trying to reduce their, their contribution to the transportation of goods issue and the carbon footprint that excessive um, lorry use could actually cause. Name the retailer and what they do. And again, for number seven, that would actually come from the policy that you need to investigate. Responsible retailers. Implementing environmentally friendly policies can bring a number of advantages. Reduce business costs, avoiding legal penalties. Improved business and brand reputation. Environmentally friendly lists can be a highly effective marketing tool. Recruitment and motivation of employees who commit themselves to ethical objectives. Those are things like the green careers that was mentioned earlier. Creator of customer loyalty, great, sorry, greater customer loyalty from growing number of ethical consumers and reduce waste, wastage. Sales in fair trade coffee, tea, chocolate, etc. are increasing and efforts showing how businesses recycle and replenish are common, such as toilet paper businesses replanting trees. Supermarkets also offer recycling of waste products to customers, such as battery bins and loyalty points for reusing carrier bags. Some businesses work with environmental groups and actively try to educate consumers on the need to look after the environment. The majority of consumers care about the environment and welcome these actions. However, for many retail businesses, the introduction of environmentally friendly policies can result in higher costs to the business as they change equipment seek new suppliers or implement new processes. In turn, these higher costs can result in increased prices for their customers who may then decide to go elsewhere. Your task, find a retailer of your own, one who offers fair trade or refillable cereals, milk juice or any other similar product, or something which you think is environmentally important. Write down the name of your retailer and describe what they do in the hexagon. Now this is a retailer of your choice and one that's possibly not been discussed earlier in the lesson. Well done, you have completed the lesson 13 on environmental fact factors which influence and impact retailers. You have completed all eight tasks, understanding some definitions and Greta Thunberg's call to action being environmentally responsible and some two case studies. Big list, but big issues in this lesson. Well done.